And I'm Matt. And this is Highway to Hell. We are <laughs> Road trip down to Daytona, and this is our first stop in Cuttawa, Kentucky. Don't know if I said that right, but we're gonna go with it. We're at Eureka Campground, it's a Army of Engineering Corps campground. Pretty nice. We have a beautiful view. Our campground has this nice gravel rock next to it with a couple of tables. It has stairs going down to the water. We're from St. Louis, Missouri, and it took us about three and a half hours to get here. Currently, the gas price is... We filled up for 4.43, and at home it is 4.80 when we left. But we also filled up in... We filled up in Paducah, Kentucky, which is only about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from where we are. And uh, it was 4.43 there, and then as soon as we got to where we are camping now, it is now 4.80. Typically on nights where we're just spending one night and getting up early in the morning to travel, typically don't unhook the truck just to save a little bit of time in the morning and speed up the process to get back on the road. Our second stop was just outside of Macon, Georgia at this lake. It took us roughly seven hours to get there, but with traffic hitting in Atlanta, it took us a little bit longer, closer to nine, and we were just ready to get set up and be done. When we got there, the temperatures were in the high 80s, low 90s, and high humidity. So it took us a very long time to get set up and just kind of cool down and ready for bed. We are now on the back end of our trip getting ready to finish the drive all the way to Daytona. It's about a five hour drive and luckily we hit no traffic getting in there. We stayed at Daytona Speedway RV Park, which as far as amenities goes, is a very simple full hookup RV park, but it's very close to the airport and racetrack. This RV park is under 50 at night and only minutes away to the beach. Daytona Beach is the only beach in the U.S. where you can actually drive your vehicle on it. They do recommend that your vehicles have all-wheel drive so you don't get stuck. But for $20 each time you drive on it, or you can buy a season pass for $110, we decided it was just best for the one time to say we did it and park outside and walk our equipment to the beach. A fun family-friendly outing is Congo River, which offers mini golf, and you even get to feed and hold an alligator. They also have a scavenger hunt, an arcade, and even a gemstone mining, which would be fun for most kids. And yes, I consider myself a kid by the next photo of me having a great time holding this little alligator. Daytona International Speedway was probably one of the big highlights of our trip as in we're avid NASCAR fans and we loved going to check out new stadiums. We got to see the great view of Victory Lane, take a ride on the track, and even get to walk up the 31 degree banking on the turn. And yes, it is very steep. Most people don't know that Daytona International Speedway is actually home to one of the biggest Rolex watches. And folks, that is a real Rolex watch working up there. After the tour, you get to go inside the museum and you get to see how far NASCAR has really come. And you get to see all the winners who've won the Daytona 500. Our two dogs, Zeus and Maui, also had to endure that 15 hour car drive with us. And we wanted to reward them by taking them to a dog beach area so they got to actually run in the ocean. Zeus, our dog in the black on the left, is an avid swimmer, and Maui just likes to casually kind of wade in the water. We decided to go right around sunset, so it wasn't too hot for the dogs. 
This is New Trauma Beach Park, which is about 30 minute drive from the RV park. The water was clear, the sand was soft. That is one of the dog's most favorite parts of just going out and getting to go swim around and cool off. When we go to Florida, we always try to eat from the sea. And I can't eat shellfish, but let me tell you, those crab legs Char got look delicious. We also went paddle boarding, and this is the walk of someone who spent an hour trying to paddle board and still couldn't get it. On our way back home finally, we decided to stop at a Love's RV stop in Cordell, Georgia. It was $45 for the night with full hookup. They had a little splash and play area, and even two very small dog parks. This is only about an hour and a half south of Atlanta. And then next morning, we finished the drive home. Please like, subscribe, and comment as we continue to vlog our RV adventures.